is delicious. Oh my gosh, this will make a man really want to marry you. Oh my gosh. And it'll make a woman love you even more. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we are frying up some chicken fried chicken. There'll be a lot of love going on when you feed somebody this for supper. Boy, is it delicious. And they'll be really thankful. All right, we're gonna start with a full chicken breast. It's a, it's a chicken breast that I got on sale. And I'm actually gonna half it because you can tell how thick this thing is. And so we're just gonna half it in two. And now I'm gonna place one. I actually I'm gonna place them both in this bag while my hands are still dirty. Okay? So there's one. And here's one. And you don't have to really close it. And I my hand, this hand is still clean. So I'm just gonna take this hand and I'm gonna beat this chicken. Get your frustrations out. And now they're nice and flat and enormous. So there's one. This is the biggest one. And here's one. You want to apply salt and pepper liberally, which means a lot. A lot of salt and pepper. And we're gonna make some gravy with our drippings. So here's our pepper. Now, all I'm putting on these is salt and pepper. I just want a basic chicken fried chicken. Yummy, yum. Good old chicken fried chicken. I'm not seasoning both sides, so that's one reason I make sure and get plenty on this side. And now we're gonna salt it. And there's no need to season both sides if you do a good job and kind of double season one side. Now, I'm gonna use buttermilk because it's my favorite way to batter chicken unless it's bone-in and then we use egg. So if it's a chicken that cooks up pretty quick, you don't really need the egg batter. Uh, you have to use an egg batter for bone-in chicken because it, it stays in the fryer for so long that it burns or it gets too dark looking. And this just needs to be enough buttermilk to coat it. Now we're going to put it in our white lily, self-rising flour, and do a really good coating. And I'm not gonna double dip it or double coat it, just one coating should work fine. Just make sure you get a good, nice, thick coating on it. And you want to be real careful when you're frying this and don't turn it over until it's nice and brown. Now, this is thin, so it won't take it a long time to cook, and that's another great thing about making something fried, especially chicken, this way, or pork even because it's gonna fry up really quick and you're not gonna have to worry about it not being done on the inside. So here we go with this really large piece of chicken. Real from one at a time. While that one's frying, I'm gonna batter this one. We're gonna use the rest of our flour for our gravy. Now you can't save the flour after using it in raw meat and use it the next day or anything, but you can make a gravy out of it that night. All right, y'all take a look at that and keep a watch on it while I go wash my hands. All right, this 
big one is ready and we're gonna drop the next one it's really pretty it looks almost like a heart It'd be pretty for Mother's Day wouldn't it all right we're gonna pick this one up put it in here start it and I turned the temperature down just a hint because that oil uh, gets a little hot once it's been in there for a little while you want to make sure that um, it breaks down the oil so most of the time when you're frying chicken even if it's chicken fingers or bone-in chicken you do have to turn the oil down a little bit once you start frying it and it's been in there a few minutes okay let's flip this one over we are cooking this three minutes aside you need to make sure and have your heat down enough that it's not going to burn they be pretty and golden brown three minutes and make sure you pound it out thin don't cook a big thick piece of chicken and say Tammy said I could time it on three minutes you better pound that thing thin we use our wonderful white lily self-rising flour to make a crunchy crust on our chicken all right this one's ready Now it's time to make the gravy. That thing's beeping at me. It don't like, it don't want you to pick the pot up. Okay, and now we're gonna add our flour for our gravy. And I just like to add it until I get it to the right consistency that I think it ought to be, which is about like that. <laughs> All right, we'll put a little salt and pepper in it. Got some lumps in it, don't it? Oh, it's because we used it to batter that chicken, so it's it's gonna have some little pieces in it because of the buttermilk that was on the chicken. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna let that brown a second. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. All right, I smell it getting brown. Now we're gonna add our two cups of milk. And we're just gonna stir it up till it's thickened. And we're gonna pour it right back in this because this is an easy, container to put your gravy back in when it's when it's done now if you're making gravy for a family of six to ten you're gonna need a little more than that but me and chris don't need a ton of gravy and you can take gravy and uh, wrap it up and store it in the refrigerator and and warm it up for another meal that's starting to get thick when it starts it only takes it a second so there you have the gravy we're gonna pour it right back in here and we're gonna make us a plate now every time I make gravy I try to put water in the skillet it just makes it easier to clean up later. So we're gonna make us a plate and I'm gonna make it on this beautiful platter and show y'all how pretty it can be. So we're gonna take a, a piece of chicken and I think I'm gonna use the smaller piece. All right, we're gonna get us some green beans. And some taters and these are nice and fluffy potatoes that I put a little bit of sour cream in just look online for the recipes for my vegetables 
and um, I'll post a new one for this chicken because I wanted it just to be salt and pepper because to me that's what's best on chicken. When you're just really wanting a southern country fried chicken, it just needs to be salt and pepper. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed watching it and we'll give this a try in just a second when it cools off a second. It's really hot right now. All right, we're gonna give this a taste. I'm gonna get a piece that's smothered in gravy. It's hot. Mmm. Now that is delicious. I hardly ever fry chicken and have gravy with it, but can I say that, oh my gosh, this sounds like a man really wanna marry ya. Oh my gosh. And it'll make a woman love you even more. <laughs> no kidding. All right, so. There'll be a lot of love going on. Should I say that? It's fine, whatever. There'll be a lot of love going on when you feed somebody this for supper. Boy, is it delicious. And they'll be really thankful. Y'all have a wonderful day. And we thank you so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook. Like Mama did. Bye, y'all love ya. See ya next time. Uh -huh.